and Insurgent runs right by the Bradley. He can't do anything. This is just a Raider. He's got a, a PPSH and some, some, some grenades, but a tandem round can do a lot. Slams to the side of the Bradley, tracks him. That Bradley is not feeling too good. You can see tandem right at your screen next to that gas tanker. What a play by the Raider. One crewman jumps out to try to repair the tracks. Gets absolutely mopped up by the PPSH. Hey guys, Moidog here, and today we've got another episode of Eye in the Sky, where we take a look at a round of squad from the top down. Now, usually during these episodes, I have to spend a lot of time going back through extremely long rounds, especially when it comes to invasion. And just last week, I was asking if you guys were okay with 45 minute to an hour long episodes. Well, today is different, and I really don't even have to worry about that, because this is probably the quickest round of squad we've ever had for an Eye in the Sky episode. And I'm not gonna lie, it's for really good reason. Volusia Invasion is one of the hardest map and game mode combinations in the game. And this layout, the Americans had to cross bridges into the city in order to cap the first point. Let's just say chaos ensued and IEDs, like a lot of IEDs. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and drop me a comment below with a map or faction you'd like to see next. And don't forget to check out the live streams at twitch.tv slash moidog where I stream every weekday. The live streams are a lot of fun, so I hope to see you there. But that's it for me. Until next time, peace. So it is US against insurgents. We have two tanks, two Bradleys, Matt V's, Logies, and this is going to be chaos, dude. U.S. has to go across a bridge. Which one of the bridges, though? Hey, squad one, I applaud your guys when no squad leader moving across the bridge in a Logie. That's awesome. <laughs> is it? Jeez. Is it awesome? Because I have a feeling it's about to the odds ever be in their favor. Not be awesome in a second. Eric Sapper right here. Oh, did he drop a did he drop a mine? Oh, doesn't doesn't matter. Dishka RPG and there it goes. Logi crossing the bridge gets absolutely dumped on. RPG hits the Bradley as well. Great RPG shot. Bradley already down. Two RPG shots. Smoking. That is not what you want to see when you start the game. Oh my goodness. The tandem round hits the side of the bridge. And that one did not miss. Hannon's not going to miss the second time. R rip goes the Bradley. Rip goes the Lodgy. And the Americans are stuck on the west side. And you got that kind of barrage just that landed in the water there was the rocket artillery. And this is not a sight you want to see if you are the Americans right now. So in the meantime, this is going to be probably a nice little standoff here. And we have an Abrams up on the green bridge. Also trying to do something with, you know, one or two dismounts nearby. But the main force of the Americans, if you, if you look at the map real quick, only one or two, just a handful of insurgents are stopping the entire advance. You can see that Bradley down here on the north side is also engined, stuck. Oh, and he hey, is this a an IED bike coming in? And the Bradley's smoked out. I don't think he sees him. Rolls up right next to the Bradley. Easy as that! And I wish it looked better, but uh, apparently squad didn't want to render the explosion. So now the Bradley's gone. 
Um, everybody close your eyes. Imagine a fiery explosion, fireball as high as the sky. Hey, command, can you send one of your mechs to Just billowing. Get some of this up? That is what happened. <clears throat> Both my medics are back in uh, Okay. There. Still look a uh, fantastic ID bike. I can try to Mopping up the Bradley, and just like that, that's both Bradleys destroyed. You see just two Abrams left, and they're getting a hab. This is really nice. So they have a hab, and an ammo crate should be going up. And they have it far from the radio. In Fallujah, these urban maps, it's so hard to find the radio. Honestly, the bridge out of all the places is probably the easiest place. I mean, even out... Here in the bushes would have been uh, maybe a little bit harder to see. But that's not a bad spot at all for the radio. And putting the hab so far away is a great idea. Now, the thing is, it's 149 tickets to 775. You can see the top right of your screen. There's a lot of tickets left for the insurgents. And the U.S. is just now getting a fob up on this side of the map. It's not even that close to the objective. You can see down here in Al Jamora, the very first point. Insurgents have this completely buttoned up. One or two US are trying to work their way across the bridge and they're just getting instantly killed. Even if they are able to get through, you're going to have to hope you just get a rally. Commander, you direct west. This enemy rally or possible hap. Tree, big, smoky, brave, KJ. All try. Wait a second. Honor just. What, isn't that the. How did. Uh. And Honor comes from the U.S. side. Passes the Americans crawling across the bridge. There's definitely someone on the roof somewhere. And this is great work to find Mike. Brave KJ, Tree and Smokey there have actually made it across the river. Now the question hey, is, is any of them an SL? No, we'll there's no squad there. leaders. You can see a helmet mark. This is an insurgent mark. They're saying, hey, Americans have made it across the bridge. But there's no rally. And you just have one medic here. Brave KJ is a medic. He's going to have a lot of work to do. As a tank round starts firing into Al Jamora. I mean, this is this is what the U.S. is seeing right now. Multiple buildings. Yep. Literally, insurgents could be in any window right now. No logi. No vehicle support. Uh, Scott, John, not killing the guy shooting. Hey, we got a oh, and the medic. We can see Brave Cage starts getting tagged by, I think, Cool Cam. Oh, he has a great, great sight line. As this little fire team here starts to push up through the orchard. I'm not even sure if they knew where they was being shot from. You can see he nailed Big Smokey right as they start. Oh, District coming out with a flank. Didn't even see him uh, pushing right the through the orchard. Team. Knocks out Brave KJ and Defiant Mike, the two piece. He's by the brown boxes. That might be it. Is there anyone left on this side? No. And just like that, the Americans have been, once again, pushed right back over the bridge. Wait a second. Start There's an American tank. Start using these hubs. Well, how? Hey, uh, how did they get all the way in the have, city? Uh, we got get attacked right now. Up into the city, engine by an RPG. Another RPG comes in, and an IED bike comes off, and another explosion that disappears. Squad, please, just give me the explosions. I want to see them. I want to see these explosions!
It would have looked so amazing. OWI, I've got to send you an invoice. You owe me $50. Because this, this could have looked so much better with these explosions. All right. A tank, for whatever reason, decided to push into the city all by itself with almost zero infantry support. And to the surprise of absolutely nobody, dies in a fireball. This is looking like it is going to be a very quick game. Unless Americans can get a fob up. Somewhere on this side, if you see the, see the map again. Seven wants to get a hab up here. There's no, no, where's all the lodgies? There's one lodgy. I think this is squad four for the Americans. Let's take a look at the one lodgies just about to respawn. There's three other lodgies. Maybe one's right here. I don't understand this. This is actually mind boggling to me right now. The Americans are building fobs way in the middle of nowhere. There, it's 91 tickets, and you have one Lodgy that's out in the middle of the map. You have a second Lodgy that's being built. Do you want to push Mosque? I would be very surprised if this Lodgy survives. Squad 4, are we taking it? Squad 4, are we taking it? I'm not quite sure what they're talking about. Squad 4, honestly... Oh. Wow, dude, look at the map. There's not a single insurgent on Al Jamoria. There's no lot. There's there's an Alaji here. They, they can't get a radio up. Insurgents are somehow not playing the objective. If one or two Americans actually pushes onto the point, they're going to start capping it. I think both teams are going to fail upward here. And two ships pass through the night. Lodgy's run into Lodgy. Rising Honor gets taken out as Raider and Skang and Treebler push right through the main street. And Ace is just there like, wait, what? What is going on? Wix now driving and realizing, oh man, if they were able to hit that one as well, that's two Lodgy's down. Wix just barely gets out of the way. What a random encounter. And Raider and Skang are way behind enemy lines. And let's take a look. Almost. Oh, Insurgents actually just filtered into the point. Very, <laughs> very fortunate. I, I think that it must have ticked off for maybe just a second. And all the insurgents who were fighting over on the east side just push right back onto the objective. <laughs> uh, I think that was a team kill. Yep. And Marnori <laughs> takes out cooking up some dubs. More like cooking up some L's as he runs over his own landmine. And boom goes the armored techie. Are we gonna get this cap or not? No, we're not. Let me get the a little cap. bit dodge. Just gotta get more. Jack, 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 Ten. Jack, and Nelly. Oh, Delac. Ten. Ten geeks in. We'll get it. Yeah. And big yeah, smoky. I'm trying to set up a rally for or my guys. Smonky? Big smonky. Been calling big smoky all oh, yeah, game. Okay. Big I'm smonky just, just on the north side of the objective, but I don't think they realize. Point. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, sorry, man. Same here. Sorry. <laughs> that there are so many I mean, more buildings lie, in this cap point. And we're going to back it out here. Uh, I press, yeah. press this. So you see this red box <laughs> on the objective? <laughs> you, you see it right here? That is a, an enormous cap area. Just look at the amount of red you have on the eastern buildings. The U.S. can secure one building. There's still so much more to clear out and try to secure. Set 
an incredible amount of nooks and crannies that the insurgents can just hide that into and hold the objective in 50 tickets active. for the Americans, 683. I'm going to be honest, though. The Americans have done really well to take out enemy uh, enemy flags or enemy uh, tickets, rather. The, the main issue is that they haven't gotten the objective. Take a look at our tank here. Trying hey, to push uh, in from the north side of the objective. To the right. That's not exactly uh, specific. This is right about to be an IED to bike right? magnet. I believe yes. two of the three vehicles already have been IED'd. One RPG went down, or one Bradley Wait, went down we to a tandem. The other the Bradley went down to the IED the bike other. earlier in the game, and just a few minutes ago, the second roof, stick with tank went down to ID bike. Most I don't know if I, with, with just a handful of tickets left, I don't know if I'd be bringing this Abrams into the point. See if we turn on the point here. Look at how many insurgents are right next to the, the Abrams. This is what they can see. Pretty much nothing. You highlight it, you, can, you realize just how dangerous of a situation the Abrams has got himself into as Honor comes in right from the backside and doesn't even see. As the last tank goes down, that is three successful IED bikes for insurgents. Fantastic play. As for good measure, the rocket techie slams in to the same exact spot where the rest of the crew lays. And I think that's going to be just about it for the Americans in Fallujah. What an absolute not no! Please have mercy on the vehicles. Let one go home. See his wife Bradley and baby Bradley. Don't give him the same fate. I'd be extremely surprised if this Bradley survives to the end of the round. 19 tickets to 656. And right as I say that, nearly gets tracked. Very lucky he doesn't actually. And I don't know why he's, he's sideways. This is incredibly dangerous for the Bradley. Rocket Techie continuing just to pummel the objective. An insurgent runs right by the Bradley. He can't do anything. This is just a Raider. He's got a, a PPSH and some, some, some grenades, but a tandem round can do a lot. Slams to the side of the Bradley, tracks him. That Bradley is not feeling too good. You can see tandem right at your screen next to that gas tanker. What a play by the Raider. One crewman jumps out to try to repair the tracks. Gets absolutely mopped up by the PPSH. The tandem round does go down, but you see another RPG on the far side. Engines the Bradley. No. The game no. right here. And another fantastic burst of PPSH. You rarely see this actually become effective. The Bradley clinging on to dear life. Oh, they had it! The Bradley is panicking. RPG goes a little bit wide. No, it's Chuck. Cannot move. And he's mad. You can see another insurgent. Trying to peek. Gets mopped up by the AT4. Good kill by Defiant Mike. 
to try Come just on, to keep him. the Bradley up for a little bit longer. I think it might be a little uh, too little too late here, though. Let's see just how in trouble the Bradley is. They managed to... Oh, wait a second here. We might have triple A. They... Did they really... They just... <laughs> fantastic grenade. Actually, did... Did Fritz kill himself? I think Fritz killed himself by his own grenade. He did take out Chewy and, and Parma Violet as well. I think he blew up by his own grenade. Oh, is that another IED? And it is an IED home beat wrap up the game coming in. Oh, whatever. What the fuck ever. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I've seen that many. Everyone Moy for picking that god awful map. Boo this man. Yes. I'm sorry. I didn't cause you guys to not play the objective. <laughs>